Black women will ruin your life and go eat a piece of cake. I've seen situations, brother, and these are real talks. I've seen a situation back home where this chick threw a cross between this, this black dude and her and her brother, the dude that she was sleeping with, and her brother. The brother come to her aid because she telling the brother that the dude she's dealing with is beating her up or whatever. And the brother comes to her aid. The dude and the brother get in the fight. The dude shoot and kill the brother. She's still sleeping with the dude after the dude and killed her brother because of her actions. And then about two months later after the investigation went down, the police arrested him and he went to the beam. So she just run two lies behind something that wasn't even happening. The dude wasn't even beating on her. What? Two lies. Her brother and a dude that she obviously liked a lot. Ruined their lives. These women will do it, bro. I've seen too many black women that are messy, that want men to fight over them, that, that tell dudes, you know, somebody did something to them. This is why back in the days, we wouldn't just run out there behind our girls. If our girls came home and said somebody did something to them, we wouldn't talk. Our first instinct was not to go out there puffing, who did, what you doing? We didn't do that, bro. We went out there and found out let me go talk and see what's going on. Because we just don't trust them like that. And it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We don't trust them like that. Because we know that they will lie. We know that they have lied. So we go up there and we talk it out to find out what's going on. And it's not just black women, but unfortunately, it's messy children. You know, it, you know, it depends on how that, it's always, it's always go back to the black woman though. There's a real situation that happened out here in Arlington, right? A little unruly teenager dude, him and his friends was making some laws on, like, on a little moped type thing, like 2 a.m. in the morning, bro. And I went out there asking to quiet down, you know, cut that thing on. That thing was loud as hell, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, the kids bucked on me. They was big children, you know what I'm saying? They bucked on me. So I, I pulled out a pistol and said, man, y'all gonna calm that noise down. They tell their daddy who was a gangster, right? I see the daddy looking for me. You know, he got a, he got the whole family with him, girl, the, the wife, the kids, everybody, you know, looking for me, you know what I'm saying? I see him coming, so I stand there, you know, and he coming, he talks to me. Me and the dude actually got cool. He talks to me. I told him what his son was doing. I'd say, you know, and I pulled him to the side. I said, bro, look, if I was going to shoot your son, I'd have shot him. See, I pulled the gun out because I could tell him and his boys was looking at an older dude that was smaller than them and thinking, you know what I'm saying, because them dudes were big, you know, and they were thinking, we could jump this old dude, you know what I'm saying? So I did that to make sure I de-escalated before it went further. And I had to actually shoot him. And the dude understood, he got on his son, and you should have seen his wife. His wife was mad at him. Mm -hmm. You gonna take his son, you And the dude was like, it's not that he, my, our son was wrong. The, the black woman did not care that the boy was wrong. She wanted me and that man to clash, already knowing what type of man he is, and he could recognize what kind of man I am. How do you think that's gonna turn out? She didn't care. One of us was going to the ground, and the other one was going to the beam, and she didn't care about right and wrong. That's black women. That's black women. She hated pulling up, seeing me and him out there chatting, Laughing and stuff, Kiki. Oh, she couldn't stand. She wanted us to clash. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? That's black women. And as men, we got to learn to move in different ways because they're going to have us messed up. If we listen to them and, and follow their lead, we're going to find ourselves in all kinds of mess. And as men, we can't do it. We can't do it. Nah, man, my brothers, I'm gonna teach y'all to move vigilantly, bro. Y'all gonna move in a way that protect yourselves. You're gonna move in a way that watches out for danger. And you're gonna understand the animals that you are in this jungle with. You're gonna understand their natures. You know what I'm saying? And you got two main animals in this jungle that you have to really, really, really be cautious when, when dealing with them. That's the white man and the black woman. And I don't care how mad y'all get about it. 
like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out here, I'm Brother Kush, aka the Black Alphas. Salam.